Hey guys, it's a beautiful sunny day in Miami. I'll show you the weather. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky. So as usual, we're going spear fishing. I'm super excited because I haven't been able to do any like really deep dives in a while. Number one, because of my sinuses and number two, because I've been working a lot. That's why I've kind of fallen behind on posting videos, but hope you guys understand. Um, so yeah, we're heading out from a marina up here in North Miami. Hopefully I can catch some nice dinner and I'll show you guys how to prepare it. And yeah, it's a great meal when you have it fresh like that. So I'm very excited to share it with you. Wish us luck. about your mud in it's my personal best um, it's got to be 20 pound fish it's right huge here. huge oh. fish this is what it was eating this is African pompano skin nice <laughs> and uh, yeah just got distracted <laughs> with uh, my leftover fish skins and shut beautiful that's a feast yeah <laughs> That's a big boy. Nice one. Thank you. Good start. Good start. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Thank you. 
lionfish, some lobster. Didn't catch any ice though. Still looking for that. <laughs> What'd you get, Matt? Oh, I got some mangroves. Nice. And some lobster, two lobsters and two mangroves. Beautiful. And I made friends with the group. You made friends with the grouper? <laughs> he said he saw a red grouper and he was petting it. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Really Damn, yeah. let's see that lobster again. That's so How deep was he? <laughs> He's huge. Damn. Look at that mutton, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're doing well today. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> yeah, Can't complain. That's a good one. My GoPro died, so I didn't get the shot on, oh. on film. Damn it. Nice. That's a good one. That's sushi right there. Yeah. Sushi for days. Bled him in the water, so we didn't have to take it. I still can't believe the size of this mutton. Incredible. Dude, that could have been your fish. Could have been mine. <laughs> Next time it's gonna be mine. That could have been your lobster too. <laughs> Alright, last spot. I got my yellow jack. Yay! They're so good, you guys. Alright, so we're gonna head back in now before the sun goes down. We still have a little ways to go, so. Hey guys, as promised showing you how to prepare that yellow jack that I shot. I'm here with my friend and amazing chef. His name is Matias Denese, right? Right. Say it right. 
and he creates amazing dishes that incorporate the entire fish. So today we have a few recipes that we're going to be showing you that are, are incorporating those parts of the fish that people usually throw away, like the head, the collar. We, yeah, we basically have. use head, collar, and of course fillet. Yes, and the fillet. So, what kind of dishes? I see we have a list here. Yeah. What are we going to be preparing? We just prepared the oven head and oven collar. A uh, little brine before with the uh, salt. Easy. So easy. Okay. Oven. So nice. everyone can do it. And we're gonna use the part of the filet for three different dishes. So we're gonna make uh, the first part uh, with a little marinade in the so oriental marinade mm -hmm. with the uh, stuff and leek with shiitake mushroom and edamame. Uh, we gonna do the wantataki with the salty yogurt foam, mm -hmm. uh, edamame cream and uh, chile negro oil. Uh, can be interesting. That sounds amazing. Interesting. I'm excited. Perfect. First step. <laughs> so we're doing some more complicated dishes that um, I don't know if you guys are going to do at home, but we're also going to do a little bit more simplified ones that you guys can incorporate yeah, in your own kitchen. So, so we're also drinking so, sake, so. Good sake to go with sure. the feed. But I thought it was really clever, but we're all using different herb leaves to distinguish whose drink is whose. I don't know if you can see that. Mine is what sprout is this? It's a pea sprout. Pea sprout. I have the jalapeno leaf. It's a jalapeno leaf. And our yes. friend Angel. There's someone that is not in the camera. Here. Here. <laughs> yes, Rosemary. Hi. hi. <laughs> Cheers. And I have he has rosemary. rosemary, right? And that's rosemary. Cheers. So, so Angel also, he started a business here in Miami that he's taking people out on charters. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes, it comes from my passion for the ocean. Uh, so we are uh, taking people out of uh, Miami, spearfishing, and with whatever we catch, we have Mattia that is gonna help us in honoring our catch. So it's, it's right. gonna be very interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So. We are going to explore many different kinds of fish. Not the usual fish that everybody catch, but we go between racks and we go on a reef and we try to differentiate the catches that we have. That's a good point too, and which is super important because yes. then you're, you're not just going after the fish that everybody's targeting that are m more popular, but you're going for fish that are equally or even more tasty that you just don't really know about because they're not as popular. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's super cool. I'll put all of their information down in the link below so you can check them out and book a charter. Yes. When you come visit Cheers. Miami. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. All right, let's get started. Enjoy the cooking. Thank you. Subscribe the channel. <laughs> so here we go. Just start. Cookie. So what are the first steps? Just open the leak, start opening the leak. Now what's what's that marinated in? Sous, sous vide cook. Oh you cook it little, sous vide? Yeah. Okay. Um, With what? It's like 15 minutes, really easy. 60 65 degrees Celsius. Sorry. Okay. I don't know. We can convert it. We can convert it. <laughs> it's, it's, Salt, olive oil, a little bit butter and pepper inside. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to separate uh, to just to put in stuff uh, inside after. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Okay. So you, you take it out as tubes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So you're stuffing like it. cannelloni. Ah. Filo cannelloni. Yeah. yeah exactly. Nice. Okay. Vegetable cannelloni. Very cool. Wow. <laughs> we have one more. You can get another one out of that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, whoa. Okay. No, but it's enough. Yeah. Now what? What's that? 
You had what we kind have of mushroom? Shiitake. Shiitake. Shiitake mushroom that I use for making this near beef broth. Um, so it's dashi broth, basic. Dashi broth? How do you dashi make dashi broth? broth? With a um, bonito flake, like uh, katsubushi, okay. and um, the kombu, seaweed kombu. Okay. So, so you just boil it together? Yeah, just, let, just let's boil in the water mm -hmm. and um, already add the wasabi and the mushroom to cook in. Yeah. Uh, keep cold and you filter and you have this one. Nice. And so we're going to use the, the mushroom for stuff the, the leek. Nice. Okay, cool. With the damami. Get a little cream. Is it ready yet? No really. Someone's hungry. <laughs> Long from to be to be. Just to drink be your ready. calories. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> Let me drink more sake. Bravo, <laughs> salute, <laughs> salute, salute, di cara abbiamo bisogno. So I don't All right. So here we have peeled edamame. They're out of the shell. So a little bit salt. All right. Pepper. Do you use one. regular salt or sea salt? That's sea salt. Yeah. Sea salt, black pepper, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Always. So, edamame, salt, pepper. Extra virgin olive oil is from somewhere. Extra virgin olive oil from anywhere. From. <laughs> Doesn't matter from where. <laughs> and then immersion And we're going to blend it. Alright. I love immersion blenders. Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> go, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna have the mushroom at the same time. Weird that you have to put your push both at the same time. Yeah, well, you can you can Mine do just it. just for start and you and can then you, you can, yeah exactly. Right. But that's sweet. Yeah. Weird. So you can really use the the, the apple. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, we're that. How well, blended do you want this? This looks purified already. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Now you're just chopping the mushrooms? Okay, so just to filter. Filter this? Yep, the other one. Where are the spoons? Right on the right. Just on the first? Yeah. Here we go. New kitchen, new problem. <laughs> so we're blending those two, right? No. No? No. Just doing a rough chop? Yeah. Or? Exactly. We need a texture and we need to feel in the most the little piece of mushroom. Is that good enough? Yep. Yeah. Like and don't waste any. Mm -hmm. Super chop. So basically just dicing. <laughs> <laughs> we went from chopping, finally chopping. If you want. He's, he's chopping Go the, faster, the <laughs> you can put in the robot and the scissor. It's so fancy chopping. <laughs> it's more shaky. Yeah. Angel, you have to tell us about your shark experience. Shark experience. So Angel went spearfishing this weekend, and you want to see what you found? What you found? Like uh, six feet of waves. No way. Yeah, it was really, really rough. Wow. Especially in the morning, the wind was blowing at like 18 knots. Wow. So I couldn't go uh, free diving. I was by myself on the boat. Yeah. So I started fishing with rods, drifting from 100 feet. By the time I got to around 50 feet. 50 feet depth. 50 feet depth. Um, I saw a thing coming out of the surface and this massive hammerhead showed up 
and start circling around the boat for, it stays for more than an hour, like an hour and a half. Uh, he, he bites twice the chum bag That's and he nice. was just staying there. I, I jumped in the water, I took some videos and I was able to push him from the, the, the middle of the, the nose. That's nuts. It was a great experience. It's actually, it wasn't the first time, it was, I, I think it was the same target I saw two weeks prior. The last time? That I was spear fishing and I was like 40 minutes in the water. And, and you were in the water? I was in the water. <laughs> oh my God. And as soon as I got back to the boat, I saw a splash next to the buoy where there yeah. was a, a schoolmaster snapper yeah. attached and I started pulling up as fast as I could the buoy and the shark was just right there. So but did you eat your schoolmaster? That no, I was attached? able to, to got it. get it in time. <laughs> oh but my God. That, that and they proud of you, but... You, you put a cane just for yourself. No, mine is finished. We all need a refill. Come on, yeah. No, he didn't refill himself no, yet. No, he refilled himself. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did. Thank you. Let me order some more stuff. Thank you, Angel. We're, we're definitely going to need some more. But... Rest in drinking. <laughs> you know how it is on this channel. We like to cook and drink. Never finish. <laughs> it brings inspiration. Yeah, it brings the food, but not the It does bring inspiration. <laughs> we'll order some more when we're done here. But yeah, that's nuts. Like, it was incredible. So um, I don't have a lot of experience with hammerhead sharks, but I do have experience with, um, you know, like bull sharks. I saw a video of you shooting a jack where that was oh, yeah. swimming right next to the bull shark. Yeah. That was scary. I haven't put that on my YouTube yet. bull shark but I got a yellow jack oh he's huge if, if the sharks are around we, we know how to deal with what that's true. That's true. so everything is has to be in safety of course that's true do I I'm still hungry yeah. you're still hungry, still hungry. <laughs> so what did you do while we were distracted yeah, almost done for the prep but what did you do what? How about what? What'd you mix? That's what the mushroom and the money. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so that's with that leftover Tasty. edamame. Tasty. The leftover edamame we're gonna use for the other. A little bit liquid. We're gonna put a little bit in the tataki. Wanna try? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Don't break. I'm trying. It's like stuck together. It's suction. Because we were holding it accidentally on the bottom. Yeah, it's very. No. Try to pull. Pull, pull. More. No. Nothing happened? I think you're holding it down. No, no, I don't do it. Do it. It'll start. Mm. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Alright. This is not one of those quick and easy recipes. <laughs> Definitely not. No, that's the only point. The only <laughs> point. But this is pretty easy. Here we go. That's great. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Yeah, that's a nice one. Why are you putting it in the zipper? It's the easy way. If you don't have a sack of push, it's 
to put inside to suck in the, the lid. Beautiful. It looks really good. It smells amazing. Mm. Good start. Yeah. We're using the belly for tataki? Yeah. Okay. Just now looking how we're gonna use this back fillet part mm -hmm. and the belly part. So we're marinating the loin in which one? Two and two. Oh, okay. So we're, we're splitting You're it split up. You're splitting it, yeah. Nice. Go ahead. Just stick it in there. Yep. It's not going to overflow. Yep. Yeah, it will overflow. Maybe. <laughs> Just be sure to not. No. The... Oh. Grande. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. E dai, e dai, dai, faccio un tiradito veloce così non cade il cazzo. Vedi, so that's just yellow jack. Yellow jack tiradito. With what sauce? As a mix of uh, lime juice, chile negro oil, um, uh, what I put salt, pepper on top of the fish, mm -hmm. and um, yeast. Yeast. Nutritional yeast. Yeast. Mm -hmm. Looks amazing. That's a magical, it typical, uh, special leaf. I mean, sure. <laughs> I try to be. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> oh. well. Okay, Angel, what are you doing? We are preparing the head and the kama, the, the collar, All the right. yellow jack. Oh, thank you. Here's the head. I'm gonna slice it in half. Just splitting it down the middle. A little bit. Where do you put it? This way. Are you press? This is good enough. Questa la devo mangiare. Questa la mangiamo sempre. Just try to flatten it out. Yes, flatten it out a little bit. You clean some of the blood. Coagulated blood that we have left. And then we'll get a lemon. So this is parchment paper? Yes. So he put a little bit of water on the pan. So, to, so the parchment paper sticks. And then he flattened out the head. Got a lemon. Salt. A little bit of oil. We squeeze the lemon. And we put it right here. So just some more olive oil. From Hawaii. Hawaiian smoke? Hawaiian smoke salt. Mm. And then we put it in the oven. I want to say for like, let's see after 20 minutes how it's going to be. On 350 degrees? On 350 degrees. Looks nice. Looks amazing.
You guys, I've tried this so many times and it's so good every time. Next time you get a, a chance to try fish head, it sounds super weird, but you gotta try it. It's delicious. <laughs> it's probably the best part of the Not fish. Much weird. It's pretty weird. I Not mean, much. it's kind of weird. Little bit. Little. Like, if you don't grow up with that, it's it's strange because. People here, they usually eat the fillets and, and, and Florida, on American in general, yeah. American in general, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. We're used to fillets and that sort of thing, not fish heads and liver try, and... Try and the other like cats that. or fat guys. Yeah. Trust me. Well, I think now that people are seeing it, they're going to try it. So, you got, you're going to love it. All right, so now we're going to start on the collar. Exactly. Fish collar. I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but it's incredible. Look at this. Together with the head is one of the best parts. The kama. You call it the kama? Kama. Kama is Japanese. Ah. It's so special. So we are grinding salt. Make sure it's a good salt. Like this is very white. This is a, a rock salt from Italy. It's alkali. It's the most famous salt and that you can find anywhere. But unfortunately, it's very difficult to find it here in the US. So I'm gonna leave this for like a 20 minutes. 20 minutes in the yeah. salt. Until you see that now the salt is gonna dissolve mm -hmm. and there's gonna be a lot of juice, okay. juice yeah. that is gonna come out from the meat. Okay. It depends, as soon as the, okay, as soon as the salt is gonna be melted, it's gonna be ready and we're gonna be ready to uh, scrape off the salt and the juice remaining and then put it in the oven. Okay, so you're saying that like once you don't see the crystals anymore. Exactly. Not all of them, part of them. Like minimal. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. That's when a little bit when it starts to melt, you can just you can clean it. You have to clean it. Okay. If you leave too much, it become salty. Too salty. Salt. Yeah, too. Okay. So it depends from the size of the the color. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Just okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the marinated yellow jack in that white sauce that you did, right? That yeah, white the oriental marinade. one. Yeah. Look at the color. Is that your secret one? That you it's look like little bit cooked. It looks incredible. Look at that. Beautiful. Now we're gonna make a pass here from one side only. Nice. And we're gonna play. So you're just quickly searing it on the outside. Exactly. All right. So it's still raw on the in the middle. It's not really completely raw because it's marinade. Yeah. In the it's a marinade that's gonna cook in a little bit the meat. Okay. Of the Ready. So is that olive oil? Yeah. Okay. So we have the cannelloni leaf warming up in the oven. Ready. So how long did you put that in there? It's like five minutes, just to warm it up. Mm. Not quite ready yet? Not yet. Here we go. Ready? Okay. This one. I'm gonna put the leaf in the bottom part. Sprouts. It looks incredible. Thank you. Can I taste it? Now we have to taste it. 
Se devi prendere te la metti in bocca. No, cioè, questo è uno. Cioè, se... No, sono due al piatto. Mm. Te lo sei mangiato tutti e due. Allora. Erano insieme. L'avevo detto. Il pieno. <ride> Vabbè dai questo lo condivido io. Ho esatto, per quello perché pensavo fosse il tuo, tanto che se ne frega. Va bene così. Mm. Più pure time fuori dalla camera? Fuori dalla camera? Più pure time? Mm. Sì. Ok. Mmm. 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 I think the, the, the proper technique is to put everything together here. <laughs> and do one bite. <laughs> uh, uh. Delicious. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. Very, very good. So, Two thumbs up. So good. So fresh. Mm. And just cooked perfectly. Still a little bit raw in the middle. Look at that. I'm dripping everywhere. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lorenzo, yes. Mm -hmm. How do you know if it's ready? The knife. He has to go inside easily, which he does. Mm. So it's ready. Two minutes. 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 Two quindi prende molto il colore Franzo puoi fare questa cosa qui o no? Ponzo Ponzo Pesce di base o già mangiati? Sì, no, no, pesce di base Come fai con i filetti? Compri in chiuso e trovi proprio questo cacao da Casa Blanca dietro il river e c'è già uno proprio jack Do lei, le stiamo facendo il recording perché fa c'è un canale Super Fishing Day e ha preso So is this ready? Yes, it is ready. So I'm gonna just scrape off the excess of salt okay. with some paper towel. Don't wash it. So don't rinse it. No, don't rinse it. Okay. Just scrape off the salt. So is this the liquid you were talking about? Yes. That red, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna put the collar in the oven. Still 350, maybe 360. And I'm gonna start with like 10 minutes. Okay. And we'll see how it's gonna be after 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Look, look how juicy. Oh my god. Let me go around. Mm. We have a lot going on in this kitchen. <laughs> look at this. Really juicy, a little bit. The ponzu. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that meat. So much that would have been wasted, right? <laughs> Whoa. Look at that chunk. That's amazing. That sea shoe is already full. <laughs> wow. And it's literally the best meat. It looks incredible. It comes from guys. Look at that. Look what you can eat it. Yeah. Do, you throw. do not Don't throw do away it. the Don't head. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> Don't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my turn. Sorry? <laughs> More wine? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Never enough. Never enough. <laughs> <laughs> Go with your We've head. had one big bottle of sake. Now we're on our second bottle of wine. <laughs> and this is the other part, look. But we are super lucky because we have two. The cheek. The cheek. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm gonna take the left one. <clears throat> look at all that meat that's in here, guys. Come on. You guys, like, there's yeah. so much meat here that's just so soft and juicy. so yeah, so soft, ah. so juicy, Go for it. so soft flavorful. Flavor. Yeah, and it's just completely wasted. People just throw it back into the water, 
or just leave it to rot and it's just incredible food <laughs> it's so good this is part of the cheek i think i dropped some if you're gonna mm. oh my god it melts in your mouth it melts in your mouth you guys need to try this if you're gonna on throw any away, fish guys. On any fish, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, for any fish. We are the one that eats everything. They don't even make fun of me when I eat the eyeball. You eat the eyeball? I eat the eyeball. It's is really it good? good. It's pure calcium. And this is the chick. So it's like. I thought you said those are the lips. Uh, the lips. Yes, the lips. Mm. What does it taste like? But it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think you liked it. <laughs> It's very buttery. The real kiss. <laughs> yeah. The buttery kiss. French kiss. Careful, ladies. Don't get your lips don't be, all don't, don't be sexy. Don't, don't be too much sexy. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should no start channel, drinking water. <laughs> Come on, guys. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Insane. You have to try it. Is there more? Oh, this one. Insane. Anything that is not hard, you can eat it. <coughs> too much of a perk. She, she maybe want to add part two. <laughs> Stop it too much. Alright guys, I think we're gonna start drinking water. <laughs> it's, the, it's the right way. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good though. Thank you guys. So Thank delicious. You. <laughs> He's cutting out the eyeball and he wants me to try it. I don't know how I feel about this. You should be good. <gasps> what are you doing? Where'd you pop it? That's the eyeball. So you eat that? You feel. Yes. You eat this part? Yes. What about this part? That is a pure custom. You can eat that. That is a little bit more brave. Like Chewy, right? Chewy. That is pure calcium. It's like a gummy. It's good for your bones, yes. It's not bad. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm eating the pupil. It's not as bizarre tasting as I thought it would be. And this good. is the palate. Go for it. Huh? Yeah. Let's try it. It looks very like cartilage <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Time it. Oh my god. You guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Is the collar ready now? A little bit more? Yeah. Yeah. A little more time. How many minutes we did? Not quite ready. Ten, Ten, two, four, uh, so I'm gonna two, do five another, more. like uh, five more. So usually 20 minutes is for the Hamashi Kama from the Pacific, mm -hmm. which is much larger than the Yellow Jack, which is the Caribbean Hamachi. Hamachi. Right. With the tataki? Yeah. Keeping ice and water to stop the cooking. Yeah. And we just move in a little bit of soy, and we just like marinate for a couple of minutes in the soy. That's it. So here we have the yellow jack tataki mm -hmm. uh, with um, Greek yogurt, salty Greek yogurt foam, edamame cream, and chile negro oil. Let's enjoy. Let's go. Got it.
Well, uh -huh. what? Mm. Okay. No. It's all right. No, it's don't need it. Though. Disgusting. Yeah, it's completely <laughs> disgusting, guys. It's completely. So gross. All right. Don't need it, guys. Live that. I don't know if we can trust you. <laughs> mm. I think that's my favorite so far. <laughs> it's so good. I agree. Mm. I'm not even being polite and offering someone the second to last piece. I'm just gonna eat it. Sorry. Mm. Ten now. Huh? Ten. So good. Thank you. Oh my god. Pleasure. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. If you try one of these dishes, I think that that's the one. It's so good. I mean, you can tell because it was gone in half a second. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. There we go. That's when you know. Look for the next. <laughs> yeah. That's when you know it's good. Mm. I think I have stuff stuck in my teeth. But wow. Amazing. It was so good. We're so spoiled it's here. It's always a surprise with him. It's always a surprise with him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. New recipe every day. It's a real style. Like, it's the menu. Yeah. And he's very improvised. He's an artist. Try to. Try to. He's so good. <laughs> he's so good. He's so cool. Nice. And now yeah, the collar. Aspetta, che ti do ti do il no, questo you have to record in this one. Mm. I have to agree. I have to, to no. give you the tools. Thank you. That's the tools. Thank oh, the, you. The so master much. tools. Thank you so much. Oh, you're licking the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 It's, so it's good. very good. It's amazing. It's possible stuff. Speechless. Mm. Okay, stop. <laughs> so I told you it's good. It's really, really good. Like, give me a straw and I will drink that. It's so, it's, it's so good. We may be at it. We may be at it. I have to check. No, we don't use straws. If we use straws, it's metal. This is your position. On the side. Bravo. This is the way, So this is the way, the traditional way how Japanese does the kama. Uh, and it's good for hamachi or, or any kind of fish. Can you do this with like grouper? And... Grouper kama. I did also with the lionfish kama. So no even, way. Yeah, even if that's more, that's fine. Okay. Different is the process for the tuna kama, which is, this is uh, baked. Mm -hmm. The tuna kama needs instead to be broiled from the top okay. at a very high temperature for like very just a few minutes. Okay. This one was baked for like uh, 15 minutes. Yeah. What's your name? Let's try. So you you wanna cut a little bit with a knife, so it's easily accessible when you go. And with the chopstick. With the chopstick. Yeah. And you dig in your little piece, a little bit of ponzo sauce. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna dig in. Mm. Oh, I always do that. Oops. <laughs> so good. Oh. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> For all body. <laughs> yeah. It's a full body experience. <laughs> This is a cream. Food. It's good for everything. <laughs> Moisturizing ponzu. Mmm. So good. So delicious. Again, it's not like a fishy taste whatsoever. Super fresh and juicy. You gotta try it. Highly recommend. Mm. 
We're not even done picking at it and you can see how little is left. It's so good. I keep saying that you guys have to try this and I really mean it. So get on it guys. Don't throw away that part. The collar and the head. Well, I don't know about you, but I am stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been? You made so many dishes and you, he still has possum. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, now we gotta finish this one and we're gonna eat. He's gonna make a for real, dish. For real. <laughs> but and I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. I know we made more dishes than we usually do, but I thought it was gonna be super special to have Matia here. He's an incredible chef, as you can see. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you can try to recreate it at home. If you have Hopefully. Any yeah, and if you have any questions, Please. just leave questions in the comment box below and we'll leave links to your answer. <laughs> After texting him. <laughs> but we will definitely do this again. Yeah, right? of course. Why not? Yeah, we next should. Time, next fish. Yeah, next we'll catch. do it with an, Yeah, next fish, next catch, and we'll show how to prepare everything. And, and I think it'll be really cool to show how to fillet the fish as well. Yeah, of right? course. We have to do it. So. For sure. Until next time, enjoy guys. Thank you for Thank getting you for drunk watching. with us. <laughs> Ciao. Subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah, I forgot that. <laughs> this is the loin, right? Yeah, exactly, the back one. So no, wait a second. My name is fine. It's fine. And there we go. Okay, the sock is getting to us now. Where is mine? Alright, well... Your fault. <laughs> God damn it! And... We see you next episode. <laughs> yeah. You made a lot of dishes today. No, something missing. <laughs> okay. See you next episode. Let's try again. <laughs>